All right, for today's video review, we're gonna be taking a look at another McDonald's Changeables figure. And this time around, we are taking a look at Happy meal <laughs> Uh Yeah, if you're familiar with the Changeables line, I think you can guess that this is a Series 3 Changeable, which was the, uh, the line where they all turned into little dinosaurs. And uh, they all had, uh, their names were all, there's a couple of them that are like actual puns, like, fry ceratops but the rest of them are literally just the object that they turn into plus odon or osaurus or odactyl or osaur you know so that it's just really stupid names so he's just happy meal odon which sure i guess that that works but uh yeah he turns into a little happy meal here which is uh kind of fun because this is the the first figure in the changeables line that actually has a happy meal mode itself the rest of them are all just food objects and uh, they didn't have a Happy Meal one from Series 1 or 2, but in Series 3, they added a little Happy Meal. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good-looking mode here. Um, obviously, the design of Happy Meals has changed a little, about, a little bit throughout the years, but this still more or less evokes kind of the, you know, the classic image there, and I think it's uh, pretty convincing uh, in terms of comparisons. Here he is with the rest of the Series 3 Changeables line, the other dinosaur ones, because this is the first uh, Changeable series that I actually... I've completed. I've gotten all of them, which is uh, pretty fun. And I think they all look pretty good together. Obviously, uh, you know, they don't really stand out as dinosaurs. They would blend in just fine with all of your other <laughs> changeables uh, if you wanted them to in this mode. But uh, you'll see what they look like a little bit more in uh, not really robot mode, but dinosaur mode. Um, and obviously, there's no bot bot that turns into a little happy meal or really anything super similar. But here he is again with uh, with Burgertron, which uh, which is kind of fun because they sort of scale with each other. Like you could see Burgertron being a uh, you know a, a burger inside the Happy Meal, whereas obviously he does not scale at all with you know the <laughs> the figures from the toy line that he's actually from. But that kind of works, you know. You could have a have a bot bot inside your Happy Meal, and then just for some other standard size comparisons, here he is with. Uh, Core class Soundwave and Jack Static, just for a junk bots comparison. But yeah, um, in terms of transformation, obviously, like every other changeable, it's very, very simple. Uh, you see this weird little cutout section down here. You just want to flip these down just like that. And then his head actually folds out from underneath here and clicks into place. And there you have Happy Melodon in his little dinosaur mode. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cute. Kind of just a generic sort of, uh, I don't know, non-distinct dinosaur there. Uh, I, I really like how they've kind of, you know, added this yellow section on his head that implies that the, like, M handle from the Happy Meal becomes, like, his back spikes. I think that's really cool. It's a shame he doesn't have a tail or anything, because, you know, sitting down like this, it would be nice to have a little tail sticking out the back, but that's okay. It, uh, it works pretty well. Uh, he's got little uh, molded and painted uh, hands and feet there on the inside right there and right there. Uh, he's got a huge hollow empty gap from where his head was, but that's okay. Uh, in terms of comparisons, let's show him off with his other Series 3 changeables. Here he is again with all of them. Very neat looking crew here with a variety of different types of dinosaurs. I mean, they're not really, most of them at least, are not really distinguishable, distinct kind of dinosaurs, just kind of like, you know, generic types. Some of them are a little bit, you know, more specific, but either way, it's a, it's a pretty good little crew. And, uh, you know, what's fun about these is, you know, they've got the dinosaur identity, but they also really do retain the identity of their original object too. Like you can look at any of them aside from maybe the hotcakes one, cause you can't read the pack, but, uh, and immediately tell what they turn into, which I think is, uh, is kind of fun, but yeah, that's, uh, that's what he looks like with them. Here he is with, uh, with Burgertron again, just so you can see what, uh, what they look like together since they're more or less in scale. And then here he is again with Soundwave and Jack Static, just for some, uh, some average size comparisons there. But uh, yeah, like I said, not not a whole lot else to these guys. They're very, very simple. I sort of miss the days when, you know, McDonald's had some like original toys that were like based on McDonald's items rather than just, you know, toys based on other external things. I don't know, just some kind of like fun identity fast food uh, objects here. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy to have completed Series 3. Hopefully I'll be able to complete Series 1 and 2. There's a couple ones from Series 1 and 2 that I don't, 
like really want like I don't really want the repaints of the ones I already have from their respective series but there's like a, a little a small fries from series two that that's a mold that I don't have and there is a milkshake from series one which is kind of the same mold as this guy but obviously with a lot of different bits that make him not a dinosaur so you know, I, I still consider that a mold that I don't have. But the other two, you know, I can, I can give or take. And then I think I'm pretty much done with the uh, the changeables line. Um, it might even be done now if I never find those. And that'd be okay. They're still a fun little series to have. And I think I've got a pretty decent collection of them. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to them. If you uh, enjoy my videos, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And without further ado, here we have McDonald's Changeables Series 3, Happy Mealodon.